The Funcom Live Dev Stream Issue 12 Preview. I am at Senior Community Manager Sesmer here. I want to remind you, if you did not know already, we do have a copy of the issue up for a prize today, so be sure to stay tuned, pay attention, we'll get you that information. Uh, but the most important thing now is to figure out who's joining us today. Hey guys! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's go with the intros. Uh, I'm Romain Miel. Uh, you probably know me as Stilty. I'm the lead designer of the Secret World. And then next to me is Josh. Wait. No, no. What? I'm not another Josh. Who the hell are you? I'm a different Josh. My name's uh, Andrew Riker. I'm the lead systems designer in the Secret World. Uh, I've oh, been you're a random system guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on, the forums, you know, on, on Test Live, I post as mags. You may have seen me post sometimes. Uh, I've been on the secret world for about five years now, uh, pre launch and all the way up to now. Good? You like it? Yeah, it's pretty good, I think. <laughs> yeah. Good, awesome. <laughs> all right, so this is the special guest I was tweeting about yesterday. Um, it's going to make sense real soon as to why he's on the show today, replacing uh, Josh for this very special stream. Um, we're doing something a bit different, so this is not going to be a stream as such. We are not going to be showing the game live like we've done in the other streams, not really explaining the behind the scene. Just because there is so much to talk about with issue 12. So I know you guys have a lot of questions. Um, and we'll be going through every features, everything which is actually happening with um, with issue 12. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, we'll be happy to listen to your feedback if you like this kind of new format of presenting issues, etc. And uh, and let's get started. And because I'm so organized, I have a beautiful so presentation. Organized. Look at this. It's like I. Mm. Ta -da. It's fancy bullet points and everything. Yeah, he has he has everything. Um, so actually, it's I just realized now we're missing like the the very first one that has the overall, but we'll just go with this. Um, all right, so this is the plan <laughs> for today. What we're going to be talking about with this uh, majestic slide. Um, we're going to be talking <laughs> about the dungeons uh, of issue 12 that you guys all know about. We're also talking about what's going to happen to raids, um, to the layers. And then we have some information about the currency revamp, I think, that's been hinted at in the past. Um, we're going to be talking about the progression cap increase so that's coming with this issue as well. And then a whole bunch of new features that I'm keeping for the end because they're very exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. All right, then let's move on to talking about the dungeons. Uh, I'll put a face back up uh, for a minute. <gasps> we're so yeah, pretty to look at. <laughs> 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 no, that's embarrassing. Um, oh, come on. All right, so the dungeons. Um, as you guys know, we have two dungeons coming up with, uh, with issue 12. Um, we are not going to release those dungeons at the same time. We sort of, uh, you know, we're putting all our effort into finishing one dungeon first, and then as soon as this one is finished, we'll uh, make it available for everybody with uh, a big chunk of uh, of issue twelve, and then uh, we'll use the time it's going to take you guys to defeat everything in that dungeon to sort of finish up the second one and then release it. So we sort of, uh, I'll go back over the the dates a little bit later, but we're aiming for like a mid August of uh, getting the first dungeon out, and then a few weeks later we'll get the the second dungeon. So, more about the dungeon. Um, the dungeon is going to be placed in Caden. Um, it actually is happening, everything is going to happen directly underneath the Orochi Tower that you've uh, discovered as part of uh, issue 11. So the dungeon is called the Manufactory. Um, you can actually already see in issue 11, if you go in the lobby, you will see a, uh, an elevator who is taking you down to the factory. So this is where you're going to get to discover. And then it's going to have its own uh, story mission. Uh, which is going to be given to you by uh, Damon Kiyoda is the person who's going to start sending you down there to see what's happening. And then uh, in the dungeon itself, you're going to get to uh, meet up again with some uh, NPCs that um, you guys will know. Uh, a small hint, which is going to give it away right away. It's someone who's at this stage is probably fairly pissed off with you. So uh, we're going to see what's going to happen with the dungeon. Uh, but let's see, uh, to try and make this a bit more interesting, uh, I actually have a lot of concepts and screenshots and things to show to you guys. 
So, let's start with this. This is some of the, I'm going to start with a few concepts of the dungeon so you can see like it's a very sleek kind of uh, Orochi um, base. Um, it's, uh, it's very clean, it's very wide. Um, and you're going to see it was a screenshot, looks pretty cool. I like him. They are. I don't say too much about what's going on in, uh, in there because I feel like I'm, I would be giving out too much away. But um, all of these rooms are in, uh, are in the dungeon. So awesome. They look great. I absolutely really, really love that, um, that particular concept. So a lot of glass, like it's very, like it feels very, very Orochi-esque. It's, uh, it's really, really neat. And actually, just to prove to you that this is, uh, you know, we have done a bit more than just drawing everything right now. Uh, this is so one of the concepts of the uh, of a room, and then this is actually what it looks like in the game um, currently. So it might look a little bit flat compared to the dungeon. Like keep in mind, so we've done everything in the dungeon, which is regarding the the geometry um, and the texturing of the dungeon. But it's the lighting is still like the section that we're working on. So the lighting is really going to make the the dungeon pop to life. Um, so this is the stage we're at right now. Let's have a look at some of the. Um, some bosses actually that we have that's a big uh, tank in dungeon that's a big tank is the first real boss you'll fight in there so the same as every dungeon we've released so far it's going to have three mini bosses and uh and three bosses um there is going to be an elite version and uh a nightmare version of the um, uh of the dungeon uh both will be released uh at the same time um the elite version is uh Maybe you can actually talk a bit more about this, about who it's aimed at on uh, difficulty-wise, and then... Uh well, sure. The elite version of the dungeon is aimed at people who are progressing through the game still, and still haven't, haven't reached the 10.5 cap as it is now on live. Uh, they'll be able to get some 10.5 blue items now in the dungeon from loot for loot, and that will help you bridge the gap between where blue gear ends now and where purple gear starts. So. You won't be able to upgrade those blue items, but they'll, they're about equivalent to 10.0 or 10.1 purples. So they'll still get you started on, uh, on your gear progression. What's that? What about Aegis requirements? Uh, the Aegis requirement for the elite version of the dungeon is QL5. So having your capacitors and your uh, controllers at level 5 will, will get you through the dungeon pretty smoothly. So the sort of aim of the Elite Dungeon is to make sure it's going to be the very typical like the Elite Dungeon. You're going to be able to get through it, see the story and see the fights and have a, hopefully a, a very good time. The Nightmare Dungeon is going to be more like very similar to what we've done in the Penthouse recently. So we it had been very difficult. Um, the rewards for that dungeon are going to be a lot better, obviously, but this is really aiming at the more hardcore crowd out there. And I hope you guys will enjoy the difficulty we, we went with this. Going through... Um, a few more screenshots. This is actually one of the mini boss. Um, these guys are super cool. Like the uh, the middle section, you can't really see as part of the screenshot, but it's uh, it's actually animated and it's a um, it's a, it's a conveyor belt on which you have all of these boxes. You can see at the end, sort of uh, moving forward, and uh, as you are happily moving alongside this path, you're going to have this box sort of opening up and those uh, OG cyborg style jumping out of the boxes and will jump to sort of uh, intercept you. It's, it looks really, really awesome. It's a really fun fight. It's a fun fight. It's a difficult fight. All right. And then I'm going to actually, I'm going to stop the bosses in there. This is, uh, this is one of the new boss we have for this dungeon in this really cool uh, room called, uh, called the core currently. Um, really special fight again um, and yeah we have like I didn't want to spoil everything all the way till the end so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you with the uh, with the screenshots we have actually another even cooler fight for the uh, for the very end we'll get to it this is revenge of the Orochi spheres it really is <laughs> 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 all right um, Let's see. Uh, we also have actually. I have a quick concept for the second uh, one of the boss of the second dungeon. Uh, this is a, a concept, and this is uh, this is going to be more. Uh, the second second dungeon is also um, Orochi based, but this is more going into so 
the kind of weird experiments that we do and here we sort of uh, decided to improve was uh, those werewolves as if we needed improvements and this is uh, what the werewolves in dungeons are going to look like they're really really badass yeah make everything cybernetic it's the Rochi way yep and let's see we have actually some special skins as well for the rewards you're going to be able to get as part of that first dungeon and this is some of uh, this is what the weapons are going to look like they Bit actually uh, only come from the elite version of the dungeon, so if you want the new skins, you'll have to play through the elite version and maybe help some friends get some new gear while you're searching for your uh, visuals. Yeah, and all the blue lights are animated and everything. Like it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's very very Orochi esque. And yeah, that's it for the um, that's it for the dungeon. Um, I have actually one small surprise which I wanted to uh, to to help you guys get a better idea of the dungeon is I have a small video, uh, a quick uh, flight through the uh, the entire place. Exciting. So you're gonna see very quickly that uh, it's a video I, I, I took myself and you'll <laughs> be lucky I'm gonna stick to being a designer and stop trying to do PR promotional material. So that was my uh, <laughs> setting the expectation of the video. I thought it was fine. And it's <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's okay. It's uh, it's great. Anyway, um, here we go. So this is not quite the beginning of the dungeon. There's a, there's a few more rooms before, but I thought it was a, a cool start with this. And you can see again, so like this is just the first pass of the of the lighting. We're gonna have a much better mood as you you know we usually have once we have the, the final version. Here's a quick look at the so the tank, the first real boss of this dungeon. For anybody who's good at strategy out there, you can have a look at what's around and then see what you might be able to expect from this fight. Those colors There's a lot of those going towers on. look indicative of something. I have no idea what you're talking about. <coughs> Alright, we're moving on to one of the other sections of the dungeon. So there's gonna be uh, as normal like in all of our dungeon, we try to focus mainly on the on the um, fights themselves. We don't want to put too much trash. So you see a few trash pools in there, like we're gonna animate them a little bit more. And this is one of the main fa uh, manufacturing um, part of the dungeon. And you can see those boxes I was telling you about earlier, animated, and those orochis would just come out ready to intercept you. Hmm. Looking badass. So this, cool. I like this it. This is a really impressive, formidable looking dungeon. Like, what do you think would be like the minimum quality level for facing? Oh, it's what we talked about. It's like it's a um, purple. Uh, Late blues um, will be uh, will be the, the the difficulty level it's aimed out. So like if you've done your entire story mission, uh, the equipment you're gonna get from this is gonna be good enough for you to start doing this dungeon. Uh, you will need to get your Aegis uh, to a green uh, level five um, level level five level. That is great. <laughs> Here we go, and we're moving on. So, you know, you saw a little bit glimpse of the Mitsubashis again. Uh, up to no good, for sure. And then we're heading up to the core. Where we have a very cool reveal of his uh, Orochi spheres gone wild. You see them coming up. That's neat how they all there. assemble together there. Yep, and they're assembled into his fight. And then he's going to punch you in the face. <laughs> and that was it. All right. What do you think? I hope you guys uh, are excited. It's uh, the dungeon is uh, is definitely uh, shaping up pretty well, uh, and I'm really excited to see you guys play it. And it's uh, it's cool that it's like it's the first big dungeon that we're doing since launch as well. So it's uh, um, it's a lot of fun for us to get to work on this, and I hope we get to do more in the future. Yeah, it'll be good to see all the new builds that come out of this as well. See, Ooh, this is where I bring system <laughs> guy. This is system guy. Uh, the penthouse is really fun system watching. Guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, well, let's move on. Uh, let's go back to my pretty presentation. What did we have next? Raids. All right. Um, well, let's talk about raids. Um, so, uh, issue 12 is going to be coming with... It's going gonna, it's gonna to offer everybody uh, 
a total of three raids, so um, three free raids that you're gonna be able to get just from owning uh, the secret world. Um, you are gonna be able to play the Unutrable Lurker, so like the uh, the New York raid, um, as everybody calls it. Uh, as normal, nothing changed uh, as far as this uh, raid um, is concerned. The Eidolon of the Outer Dark is actually, we're gonna remove the key requirement for this dungeon, so it's no longer tied to uh, layers. It's gonna be like the uh, New York raid, um, you're going to be able to play it uh, any time, it's going to be a normal 3-day cooldown. Um, we have fixed some of the exploits, or some all of the exploits as far as I know, <laughs> uh, that were linked to that dungeon actually. Um, we have upgraded some of the rewards of this dungeon, so it's going to be part of a normal, I'm hoping, kind of a um, loop to, uh, to what we're doing. Um, and then, third uh, third raid that we're doing is actually going to be um, the bird of zero, zero points pathogen that came as part of the whispering tide. This is a mouthful for a French person. <laughs> um, so Flappy, uh, as much easier to say, is uh, we've done a 10-man version of Flappy um, who is balanced to be, so it's still a, an elite raid. Uh, it's going to be more difficult than a New York raid. Um, it's going to be more difficult for everybody. The last time you've seen him, he was, you know, aimed at be done by 40 people, but he was zergable, uh, had tons of, uh, you know, it, it was meant to be an easy raid. Now it's going to be, we're going to show you, like, you know, how difficult this raid could be. Uh, so again, it's going to have its own um, own rewards, uh, new vanity, things you can get as well as part of his, uh, as part of his fight. And so all of his fights will be available for free for everybody as soon as issue 12 is out, which is, um, which is good. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, really I have Lori waving at me they're on really the They're really excited that Flappy is back. I mean, yeah. I can't read anything for all the Flappies. Yay, <laughs> Flappy. <laughs> Good, that's exactly the reaction I wanted. Everybody loves Flappy. Uh, but let's see, actually, I think I even took, like, just uh, just because concepts are went back and dug some of the old concepts that we made for this just because they look super cool, and I don't think we ever released them. So this is some of the New York, uh, New York raid concept that we had before. Some oh, of the inside that, that you will recognize. Sassy cola, yeah. <laughs> and then some of the early look at the uh, at the lurker on how we did the mesh. A quick reminder of the Eidolon of the Outer Dark, if you haven't seen him yet. So this is the, the layer boss who's now gonna be, you'll be able to defeat on a regular three day basis. And then the return of Flappy. <gasps> I wonder why they call him Flappy. I think it's because he flaps ah, with his wings. I see. Thanks. That <laughs> sense. I, I, that's why I'm here. <laughs> um, but let's see. Um, we are also, so an extra thing we're doing for raids is we're making a nightmare version of, uh, of all the raids. So the nightmare version is going to come out a little bit later. Like uh, we're trying to tweak them properly. We're trying to make sure that everything is... Uh, um, is fun and difficult. Um, so we're going to release as part of the uh, the part two update of issue twelve, which is going to be the same time as the second dungeon is coming out. And the nightmare mode is going to be exclusive to the uh, issue twelve uh, owners. So there you go. All right. Well, let's wow. move on. Oh yeah. All right. Let's move on. Back to presentation. And next we have layers. Ooh. I don't have anything exciting to show with layers slide-wise, so it's going to be only our faces. You can try to imitate one of the layer monsters. <laughs> Which one? I like the, the crab guy. That is not scary at all. I, the, I, like the, I like the spider one. Uh, I don't have enough arms for the spider. Oh. That's true. Gosh, darn it. I should work on that. Your, your crab was very, uh, <laughs> very impressive. It's like, I'm going to send you to the mocap studio soon. I should it's put on that mocap soon and just scuttle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> all right. So the layers, as uh, I mentioned um, earlier, is we are removing the um, the key requirement for the lurker. Um, uh, the keys itself are still going to exist, uh, and we're doing so another update um, to the layers. And now the keys that were used to summon the uh, to summon to to get to the uh, the arena of the uh, the Eidolon are going to be used to summon new mega bosses. So bosses like very similar to the um, the bosses who are going on right now as part of the anniversary event. So very giant monsters that require an entire uh, zone to defeat. Um, the way they're going to work is um, the people who get the key 
will be able to summon the boss uh, by themselves, I mean, with a, with a small group, and they're gonna get a special reward just like for, for the summoning, for killing the boss, they're gonna get a reward which is gonna be only for the original summoners. But as an incentive for everybody to come and help them out, um, everybody actually participating in the fight is gonna receive on top of it an extra bag uh, who's gonna give them um, a reward. So if you get the key yourself, you're gonna get double the rewards, you're gonna get the drops from the boss plus the participation bag. More rewards. Everybody else is gonna get, is gonna get the reward. Yeah, we like rewarding people, so it's kind yeah. of, a, it's cool. Tons. And I'm hoping to see like, you know, a lot of people like, uh, you know, the way I sort of, um, foresee it in my uh, in my wildest dream is to see like a lot of people coming up and shouting in Agatha saying oh we're about to summon like the uh, the mega boss in the savage coast you know meet up on me and and let's go and and kick some giant ass <laughs> and um, so that should be like something pretty cool for the for the layers I hope seeing people like starting trying to get those keys a little bit more and it's going to be de by far like the fastest way of starting to earn uh, signets and purple signets and uh, and all that jazz all right and you say that was a free update? What? It's free. Everything we give it away is so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it for the uh, the actual content update for issue twelve. Now we have um, our honored guest. Woohoo! Yeah. Um, honorable guest. There you go. Don't say the H word. He did it though. I did it. I'm, yeah. right. I'm proud of him. I'm, I was pretty. I was this pretty is why I get stressed out because then you know I say it and people are like, oh, don't say it. Just don't try. It's okay. You, <laughs> I, had, you had your one shot. I'm That's gonna let good. you speak now and get my breath back. So we're gonna talk about a little bit about the the, the currency revamp. The currency and revamp. Yes. So, as you can see, we've done a currency revamp. I guess you can't see anything, but what we've done is try to unify all the currencies that we have. So you know we have the the playfield tokens, you have the scenario tokens, you have the credits of Kodoro, you have the sequence of Tokyo, and you have black marks and white marks and all these different types of currency. So what we want to do is unify them all into black bullion. What that's going to let us do is kind of let you play the way you want to play and be rewarded and progress throughout the game the same way that everyone else would be so that you can get the same gear and the same progression path using the same currency from whatever it is you want to do. If you want to play scenarios and get your black bullion from there, you can do that. Or you can do nightmare dungeons or do missions in Kingsmith or catch up on what people are doing in Kaiden and just revisit some stories. So that's pretty fun and exciting to know that uh, after this you'll be able to still progress doing whatever it is that you, you want to experience in TSW. Yeah. Choices. Yeah, like choices. Choices are always good. Play how you want to play. Exactly. Um, we're also, to keep the progression going, is we're going to introduce one new currency. Even though we're getting rid of all the other ones, we're going to have to add one more. Uh, we'll call them Mark of the Pantheon. And what they're going to be is basically the new Black Bullion. Um, they're going to get those from doing end game activities and uh, hardcore activities like nightmares and raids. And you'll use those to progress along the, the new progression path that we've set out. Yeah. Um, also, in this conversion, we're going to end up having currency caps. So your Black Bullion and your Marks of the Pantheon will have a, a total cap as to how many you can have at a time. In addition, there will be a, a weekly cap on how many you, Marks of the Pantheon you can gain. So when we do the conversion, we're going to cap the, the converted amounts of black bullions that you have as well. So with the excess, we're going to end up converting them into packs. So before this patch hits, you'll want to spend your black bullion on whatever it is that you may have been saving for or things that you, you may have wanted, just so you can get the full value out of them before this happens. If you have any extra gear set or anything you want, it's definitely this is a good time. And we'll keep reminding people this is the first time we sang it, so we're not... You guys are not going to be unaware when this happens on issue 12, but um, keep in mind, so it's going to be everything, right? So it's going to be your sequence are going to become black bullions. Your white, black and white mark are going to become black bullions. So make sure you spend like everything that you actually really want for this. Uh, if you don't have any black bullions, like you don't need to worry about it. You're just going to get a whole bunch when the issue comes out. Wow. But if you happen to uh, hit that cap, which is fairly high, so you don't need to worry too much about it, like we're not going to take everything away from you and we'll give you a PAX uh, equivalent for, uh, for everything that you've got. So hopefully it should cover everything. Yeah. 
All mm. right. Well, they of course um, want to know the cap, but we'll we'll tell you guys more later. Yeah, we still oh. we're still tweaking numbers, seeing like what feels right, and then you know once we're satisfied with everything, we'll give you the caps. But the cap don't mean anything unless you know the price of everything as well. So yeah. it's kind of a. Um, and it's not relative to what you have now, anyways, because like trying to equate a sequin of Solomon Island to a on live now to a black bullion on live now, it's gonna be difficult because there's gonna be have to be like the black bullion obviously has to be much more valuable than that sequin. So if, like saying what the cap is now wouldn't make much sense yeah. because the converted values are gonna be. But like the ma the main reason behind caps as well, like is is of course it's it's not going to be for this issue in particular. It's going to be for the future. You know, we want to make sure we can because we don't want to keep revamping all these currencies. So we want to try and stick to the black and uh, black bullions and the mark of the pantheon. Um, and then whenever we add new contents, it's you know it's difficult for us. Like when we look at the black bullion now, knowing that people have you know more than three thousand of them, we say well we could make a whole new content update and people will be able to buy absolutely everything on day one, which is not really fun. So it's kind of a, you know, we want to make sure there's, you know, for anyone, when new content is out, everybody would get to participate into helping out everyone and getting mm -hmm. actual a reward that they'll want for, yeah. for participating. Being able to have a feeling of progression throughout the new update as well, not just one and done throughout the whole thing. Yeah. All right, that was, the token revamp. Now, well, let's talk a little bit. Like we, uh, I think we started hinting at it, but bit. one <laughs> of the one of the big thing with issue twelve is like we are increasing the um, the progression cap um, of the game. So, QL ten point five is no longer going to be the best. <gasps> <laughs> it's a shock. It's been the best Wait, for so really long. That's surprised. Oh god. Oh, dun, dun, dun. No. oh wait, I should make that. Then. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, we have to cancel the stream. We need to get back to work. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so we're going to be lifting the progression cap from ten point five to ten point seven. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because we want to have a progression in difficulty from the new nightmare content that we're doing. In addition to going through the nightmare raids, um, over the course of the entire issue twelve, like the first segment, we'll be upgrading from ten point five to ten point seven. But when you get the second half, when it comes with all the Nightmare Raids and the second Nightmare Dungeon, you'll actually be able to go up to quality level 11. Um, with this update that's coming out now, um, not, not now, the, the first part... <laughs> I have to be careful, yeah. don't I? <laughs> <laughs> the part that's coming out first, uh, you'll be able to upgrade the cores, so like your weapon core and your, um, your talismans, but the glyphs will still stay at 10.5. Um, so that has an impact on PvP as well. Uh, both, you know, the currency change that we're doing and removing the black and white marks and increasing the power of gear. So what we're doing to sort of ease the way into that um, as sort of first steps for now is to increase the power that you're going to get from equal footing. So uh, equal footing with the first installment of issue 12 will increase your power to quality level 11. So if you're in a high-powered weaponry, I think the amount of health I had when I was checking it out was around 16,000. So uh, a lot more health. <laughs> Lots more health and, and a bit more damage. So people should last a little bit longer in PvP, but uh, of course we're going to be listening to feedback and tweaking that as we go along, trying to get everything right and nice so that uh, you, know, you can get into PvP early or late and still have uh, still have a good time. But at least it will, it will be more fair for everyone. So as soon as you join everybody sort of a capped at the best at the best armor. So right. it's kind of a so yeah. It's what a little else? bit of a sneak peek into what we're planning for uh, future PvP. Update. Yeah it's uh, so <laughs> issue 12 everything that we're doing and I you know mentioned before it's uh, a lot of them are sort of consequences of what's changing so we want to make sure we you know PvP doesn't get left behind. Um, but as I mentioned issue 13 is where the, the, the big chunk of the, the PvP updates are going to be. So we have a lot, a lot more planned for that, Issue 13. But yeah. Issue 12 has a few other things, I think, worth mentioning. Yeah, with uh, Fusang, we're also changing it the rewards. So white marks, since they're completely gone, we're also going to be removing the uh, passive rewards that you get for holding facilities and animal wells in Fusang. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch of dynamically rotating missions to the animal wells in your facilities. So currently, now you can grab one for capturing a well, capturing a facility, and killing other players. Uh, what we're gonna do is add a bunch more missions, so like destroying a turret, capturing multiple facilities, capturing multiple wells, so different varieties of those. 
And what those missions are going to do is they're going to give you your black bullion. Uh, they'll be rotating, so like every five minutes or so, you'll have a new mission to do. Mm -hmm. So there's always something to do in Fusang. So you go and you grab your mission, you go and capture your facility. When you capture the facility, you pick up a new mission, and that mission might be to kill 10 people. And then you go and you help out people do that. Uh, we've also updated the way that you get credit for that so that people in a wider area around the kill will get all get credit. So they'll let healers and um, other players that are participating in the fight nearby get credit for these quests, missions. And if you go AFK in Fusang, you'll get nothing. Mm, nothing. That's nothing. the best part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And I think that was it with the progression. Cap, was there anything? The, you mentioned the PvP and PvE armor. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a big thing that's happening. Since the currencies are, are getting changed, you know, the, the gear has always been quite similar both between Venice and Custom. So when you log in for the issue, first part of the issue 12 update, <laughs> all your Venice items will now become Custom items. So they'll follow the same progression path. So anyone who's now gotten up to 10.4 with Venice gear will just be able to upgrade their gear directly into 10.5 up through 10.7 following the same progression path everyone else has so that the gear that you get from PvP and PvP is now the same. So it's a way, yeah, to keep, like, if you just want, so again, it goes back into the play, the play you want to play. So, you know, if you just want a PvP, you'll be able to progress in the game just as well as anybody else. But more on the I'm PvP thumbs progression up. will... Uh, thumbs up, yes. We're we'll getting thumbs up. That's good. <laughs> good. We've done something right. <coughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, All right. Wait, was that our first on-screen high-five ever? That yeah, it was me. Wow. I don't think I ever high-fived Josh. Oh. oh. Nice Josh, job. if you're listening to this, you're fired. <laughs> what? That's <laughs> rude. He doesn't high-five. Who doesn't high-five? <laughs> Maybe there just hasn't been an He's going to rush in kind of uh, quickly get it. All well, right. With okay. the PvP stuff, um, this is just setting the stage for issue 13. So, you know, when... Since you're getting, still getting the gear through PvP, we wanted players to still be able to get like upgrades and buy stuff with, with they get in PvP. But since equal footing is covering the actual power increases in PvP, the PvP gear that you get from that is more for you know going out and doing missions or playing with your friends or doing other non-PvP related activities. And more on that will will come with issue 13 mm -hmm. as we expand on what PvP progression will be. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, we're getting close to the uh, the final item. On mm. So I hope you enjoy that uh, that slide because this is the last the last <coughs> one you're going to see. Oh. We say goodbye to the, to the beautiful slide. Goodbye. 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 All right, so <laughs> new features. Uh, issue 12 is coming up as well with, uh, with a bunch of uh, new features who, uh, once again, are going to be free for everyone. It's just going to be like... Uh, um, hopefully improving the, the, the overall quality of the game and then um, I'll just go straight through them. So one of the first things that we've done is we had to look at the looking for more window and I'm sure everybody in the stream right now is going the what window? <laughs> um, and there is a, uh, there is a, um, a, a group uh, tool which exists right now which allows players to just search for other people to uh, um, to to make groups, uh, but nobody uses it. And I mean, there's a fairly good reason why nobody uses it. It's not very good. Um, so we had a look at it and we wanted to sort of improve it and make sure people go back and start using this window. So we've done quite a few changes to it. One of the main thing we've done with this is now we're gonna authorize people to actually um, write a comment um, of the kind of things they're looking for. So it's gonna allow you to be a bit more specific um, it's gonna and like the the main incentive I want is to see like less people sort of uh, uh, shouting all the time in a in a in a gatha because they uh, they want to get um, uh, they want to find groups. Um, I hope to see everybody using this, saying you know I'm I'm 10.5 uh, DPS and I want to do like you know my 18 out of 18, um, and you're gonna be able to advertise this way, so you can do whatever you want. And the other thing um, that we did with it is like, why actually keep this window only usable for end game content for dungeons and groups? So we sort of uh, updated it so it can be used for anything now, for dungeons, for guild recruitment. And I have a little um, a slide that will show you what it looks like right now. 
So there you go, and this is what I'm uh, the type of messages I'm hoping to see in there. You're gonna get when you when you register yourself. Um, you're gonna get to sort of select the activity that you want to do, uh, whether it's dungeons, raiding, missions, um, and you'll be able to advertise. You know, to say if you are looking for specific roles, you're gonna be able to uh, advertise for them. Um, if not, uh, you can just leave the field blank. You can say the location uh, on which you want to do your event. And, uh, and then uh, leave a little comment that people can read. So these comments are sort of going to recycle themselves. Um, they're going to last for about two hours and then get recycled to make sure, you know, like people, uh, it doesn't get like too crowded. You can also set up fielders. So if, on, if all you're looking for is logging in a game and you're looking for, you know, what parties are going on right now, I want to go to a, a DJ party, you can just filter for social activities and you will see that right now there's a, there's a party in the crusade, you know, you can meet up on this uh, DJ Sci Fighter name uh, completely uh, randomly uh, <laughs> uh <-huh, sure. laughs> Com completely random all characters used in these slides are fictional and none, uh, of, them, none of them were harmed none of them were harmed <laughs> <laughs> so there you go and I hope I hope you guys uh, enjoy this update to that window and I hope you guys uh, start using it um, I think it has a, a lot of potential and could be uh, could be really fun and you're able to use it from anywhere as well, which is going to be a, a good thing. One of the other things you have actually as well is uh, that I forgot to mention, it's important, is because of the changes we're doing to the currency is we are removing the lockouts to the dungeons. So I'm going back oh, to yes. the first slide, which I forgot to mention. Um, and I mean, it's, uh, it's going to be great now because you don't have the lockouts anymore. It's going to be possible for you to start recruiting uh, people who leave your group and be able to continue in that dungeon. You're going to be able to join in halfway through if you want to. You're going to be able to... <coughs> Uh, do the same dungeon over and over again uh, in case you wanted to it's going to be uh, should be again play the way you want to play another good reason for currency caps another good reason mm. for currency caps yeah so back to our social window um, a good question I've, I've gotten is when will they see these additions it's beginning? in issue 12 the beginning okay. yeah it's uh, it's the first part of issue 12 this is uh, I mean uh, this is actually a screenshot taken from the game uh, it already works um, but yeah, it's 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 part of a code version that's going to come out as when issue twelve is out. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, like we're looking for mid August, and then yeah, and you'll get to play around with this uh, with this new window. All right. So this was the least exciting of all the the features that we have going. So the next one, um, we're adding a brand new feature to the game, uh, which is currently called challenges. Probably going to stay this way. I named yeah. it, and I think it's really <laughs> cool. Great. This one's my favorite. <laughs> Um, so the challenge is, is more of a way now to sort of uh, encourage people, like because there's so many things to do, it's going to encourage people to, uh, to do certain activities over others. So you're going to be able to log in, you're going to see a window that's sort of going to tell you, you know, like complete the, the Polaris dungeon, for example, today. And you're going to get like, so daily challenge if this was going to be like, do a scenario or do some PvP or complete certain missions or uh, complete certain dungeons, etc. So we're going to do like daily scenarios, we, uh, daily challenges, excuse me, we're going to do some weekly challenges. Um, and so all of them are just there to do two things. One, to give you uh, suggestions of what to do in the game. And um, second, to reward you. So the majority of the, um, of the mark of the Pantheon you mentioned earlier is actually going to be gotten from these challenges. We don't want like, you know, getting those marks to become such a grind. So if you just complete your challenges like on a regular basis, you'll be able to get those uh, those marks like fairly quickly. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, Can you see them in yeah, and I'm uh, <laughs> I'm getting to the middle. I'm just making the window. sure. We <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to explain because then people get distracted by the window. But so I have here um, a small prototype. Like it's actually not the the uh, this is what the the challenge window looks looks like right now. And this is actually um, this is taken straight from. Uh, um, from my design documents, so all of this is sort of um, um, it's sort of my idea of the vis visualization of it. It's a word I can write and I cannot pronounce apparently. Uh, so this is sort of a how how I see working in a in the game, um, and we're still working on early prototype for this right now. So it's uh, it's getting to a point where it's working, and again, it's a feature that we want to add as part of issue twelve. Uh, mostly because of its tied to the to the new mark of the Pantheon. So this we can see you can see daily challenges. You'll see able to see how long it's going to take before those challenges are resetting, and then you see weekly ones. And then I just wanted to have an overall get an incentive to keep doing challenges. That the more you do, the more you get, the more you get rewarded. 
And there you go. And I'm going to go straight into the final feature that we have. And you can see already that challenge, um, uh, that challenge window is sort of a hinting at it. Spoilers. It's the first one, first spoiler. Mm -hmm. Use the dungeon finder to complete one dungeon. So we, uh, we thought about it uh, long and hard. Like we haven't had a dungeon finder for, for several reasons uh, in TSW. Uh, and it's sort of a, it's a problem I think that most new players, like for people who play a lot of MMOs, it becomes a real issue that people, you know, who don't know anyone in the game, who are shy of using the tools to advertise themselves. We want to give them a way to sort of participate in dungeon by just saying, you know, I'm a DPS, I like to do the Polaris, uh, find me tanks and healers so and other DPS so I can do this. So we're gonna add a, uh, a dungeon finder and then we're putting a lot of incentive to make sure like, you know, we still wanna keep that community, we still wanna keep like people um, being uh, good to each other and nice and you know, we wanna give incentive for people to using the dungeon finder like sort of a, a preventing a little bit of the elitism that usually comes with those type of features. So we have a lot of uh, countermeasures uh, going with this to encourage people to just be to be friendly with each other and to have a good time and to help the newcomers sort of a break into this kind of a more group oriented content of the game. Um, I have a small again, so this is a, uh, taken straight from the design sort of a visualization of one of the windows. Obviously you would have several of them, one that shows when you are in the queue, you know, how long uh, before you get your dungeons, um, but you'll be able to choose one or several dungeons as part of this. Uh, you're gonna have to select yourself the role that you want to play as. Um, so you know, if you happen to have the gear for everything, like the game is not gonna prevent you. So we're gonna trust on people saying, you know, I can go in as a tank because you know the fact that we are a classless game makes these kind of things a bit more difficult. And we're like, okay, let's just let just let the player handle it. You know, so you be, you might be able to go say, I can go in there, I can do anything. You know, I have my uh, my entire um, skill wheel is unlocked, so I can go in there as a tank, as a DPS. As a healer, I don't mind. And then when the game starts, he will tell you, okay, you have been selected and you need to go in there as a tank because everybody else is already DPS and healers. And then you'll be thrown in the dungeon, you'll be able to in the dungeon and it will be put back to, uh, to where you were uh, before you got teleported. So it should be very exciting. Um, this feature is going to come back, is going to come out as part of the second part of, uh, of issue 12. Um, so not when the first dungeon comes out, like, you know, we, we as you see, there's already a lot going on in uh, in the issue. Um, so we're gonna, yeah, we, we're gonna space things out, make sure everything works properly, make sure we, everything has the, the testing that it requires. Uh, and then as soon as it's ready, we'll uh, release so the second dungeons, the nightmare raids, the uh, looking for group uh, mm -hmm. yeah. tool, and all of that. And I think that's, Covers about everything with uh, pretty exciting with the issue. That's a lot. We've been busy. Tons yeah. of stuff. Yeah. I mean, yes. like right out of the gate, we're you know we're working working on issue twelve content for quite a while, and a lot of it is going to be available for everyone. Like the different mm -hmm. social window, the challenges. I think it's great. It's going to be exciting. And I mean, one of our lucky uh, viewers gets to win a copy Yay. of oh, issue twelve. Wow. <clears throat> that will of course so be nice. added to your account when. It's released. You don't get it today. You get it right obviously. now. If you get it today, you would have a, a few bugs in there. So, uh, <laughs> you want that. You want you're that. lucky. You get it in there at the same time as everybody else. <laughs> so if, if you want to pull a winner, I can pull you a winner. We can see who gets Let's it. Let's do it. Give it a shot. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we could do a little... I can't, I can't do drum roll on the table. Oh, it's bad. Who's our lucky ones. winner? Let's find out. We got to go through. Samoth1995. Congratulations. Samoth1995. Congrats, man. Right now. Hope you enjoy the issue. Congratulations, I'll get with you and get some information from you. Sweet. So yeah, so issue 12 coming out. Um, Mid-August. Mid-August, Mid yeah, mid-August, and then the second part a few weeks later. Um, and that's everything. And it's for any of you who's actually <coughs> interested in the dungeon, uh, we have been patching test live this afternoon, and it should be coming up very soon. So if any of you wanna, so we've put the, the Elite version right now, so um, any of you guys who want to go and uh, check it out, uh, please do. Uh, we will be available on the forums, on the test live forums as usual. So you can uh, give us your feedback. You can let us know um, what you think. Uh, it's still like, you'll see there's still a lot of work to be done with it. Like, you know, there's some, uh, some visual effects are not in there uh, yet, but you, you, know, you know what it's like to, uh, to play on test live. So the, 
The dungeon works, uh, all of the bosses should be in there. We've put at the very beginning of the dungeon, you'll find a teleport who's gonna teleport you to each bosses. We just put it in case anything breaks and you know you might not be able to, to progress past a certain part, you'll be able to just skip ahead and then try all of the bosses this way. So it's very good for us because then we get to get feedback on everything. Um, <coughs> But let us know what you feel, like, you know, on the difficulty, on the mechanics, if you sort of understand what you have to do. Um, it's, uh, as we mentioned earlier, like, you know, the requirements is sort of uh, blues, early purples, like, to be able to defeat it, like, statistically. But the the fights themselves are fairly difficult, like, mechanically, you're going to need, you really need to pay attention to what happens around you, how you're going to have to deal with every, every abilities. Um, they're not super deadly if you do it wrong in Elite. In Nightmare, it will absolutely destroy you. Um, That's nightmarish. It is, it is nightmarish. <laughs> in, uh, and I had one more thing I wanted to say on the... Um, and it's completely out oh no. of my head. What did you um, do? I mean, the currency yeah. revamp will be partially there. I mean, oh. you'll it's going to be some tests, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Your tokens won't have been changed, but the, the prices on the vendors and stuff will all have been updated. And the, the loot drops that you'll see in the game with our uh, initial numbers. Mm -hmm. So, can we also wrap all the date with you? It's actually, actually. <laughs> 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 now, I, now I've scared him. <laughs> Tildy's never coming back. Thank you. What? Thank you, uh, Cyber. That's uh, Cyber's fault. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know someone called Sci Fighter. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, and uh, if, you, if you guys have any feedback on our presentation, uh, how we presented this issue preview to you, feel free to hit us up on the forums, let us know. Send us an email at help.funcom.com if you need to. That would be great. Okay. And so, yeah, that covers up pretty we much got, for the issue. I can't remember what is that thing. It was oh, about the. It's about the. The dungeon, dance I'm trying to remember, dance or something. Dance! Well, what I remember. Dance, man! I don't think you're wrong, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is helping. Uh, no, this is not helping. Um, so what did I want to say? We have all of, the, all of the bosses are in. You'll be able to teleport to them. Yeah, give us your feedback on the, <laughs> on the problem. I'm just repeating what I just said. I'm trying to remember. Uh, probably wasn't very, uh, very important. Um, I don't know. No, but yeah, let let us know on test live. We'll be working with you to try and uh, make sure the the bosses are fine. Oh yeah, that was that was it. Balancing. Um, yeah. Let us know what you feel as well of the balance. So you know, if you do the mechanic rights and everything, if you feel something still died too fast, died too early, uh, I would definitely <coughs> recommend like you know try. Particularly if you're a very hardcore person, uh, don't go in there and going like in full 10.5s and having like your uh, your full edges and saying well everything just dies. It's too easy. Like try to go back and. Remember the intention for this uh, for this fight. You know, like you guys, you'll have your nightmare dungeon. You'll be able to get your death and your difficulty, and we'll uh, we'll start putting the nightmare version in in, um, in a few weeks. Um, but yeah, go back and see. Like, make sure like this is fun. Making sure you can go and start beating through it, and you know, it's easy to understand to other people. It's it's meant to be a fun fun little dungeon. Sweet. Yeah. All right, that was the All thing. Right. Now I can. You good? I can you good. Rest. Are you, are you both good? <laughs> both good. We have. We still have one more thing to show them. Yeah. We have one oh, we little. Uh, we can show them. One last little thing. But we're gonna say. Because we've had questions about what's the name of the issue, and I can I can only dupe them so long for Tilty's teasing tower. So we've got a <laughs> Tilty's teasing tower. This is the name. This is the TTT <laughs> issue twelve. <laughs> Tilty's we've teasing tower. I like it. No. <laughs> it's a good name. Uh, thank you for joining us, guys. Thank really you very much it. all, Thank and you. then we're going to leave you with the full cover of issue 12, including the name. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.